Hey guys, I am Angela Jean, and today we are talking about how to be the powerful you moving in to 2022. If you want to be a vehicle of service and be the woman that God intended you to be, you have got to take the time to heal yourself. If you are a woman that feels like there is no comeback, you have negative nonstop storytelling, you guys, you have got to take the time to heal yourself, to be the powerful you for 2022. I just did this. I can navigate you guys through this. I can help you and share with you everything I did. So I did create a worksheet, which you could download. The link is in the description box below. This will just help you identify some bullet points if you need to go back and confront your past and reevaluate the part you played in this. Reevaluate what that relationship was trying to teach you to elevate you spiritually. Now, this video is going to take a little bit of a turn because a big part of healing yourself and navigating life is if you are single and if you are looking for love and like I said in my last video whatever you're looking for you're lacking whatever you can't find is lost so if you flip that script to your internal being of what God is trying to tell you if you're looking for love and you can't find it that means that you need to find self-love. Your inner being is looking for something it can't find within you. So it's going externally to look for it, okay? Do you understand that? If you're looking for love and you can't find it, it's like looking for my keys, I can't find them, they're lost. Your inner being is looking for love and can't find it, so it's looking externally and that is a very, very dangerous place and a very dangerous way to navigate your life. Because if you find someone that will love you because you don't love yourself, you are giving them all the power. If you feel that when you are navigating life and whether it's a friendship or a love relationship or someone that you're dating, takes the friendship away, takes their love away. It shouldn't hurt like this, you guys. You have some deficiencies in your body is how I like to describe them. Dating and continuing to put yourself out there is necessary because relationships show you where you are. Relationships show you your triggers. It will show you everything you need to know about yourself, but there is a but on this. When we are dating, this entire year I've been dating, I won't let myself get into a relationship, but I have also been forcing myself to be celibate. Yep, I have been celibate and dating, which is very interesting. If you are codependent, if you lack boundaries, I insist that for 2022 you do this. To be the powerful you for 2022, you have got to follow what I'm telling you. And let me tell you the two main reasons why you should be celibate when you're dating. And if you're someone that's not sexual, great, this will be easy for you. But for me, I'm very sexual. You know what I mean? Like touch is my love language. So for me, it was very hard. But I'm gonna tell you the two reasons why it is so powerful and needed if be the most powerful you for 2022. Okay, so a little real talk. Number one, the reason why celibacy when you're dating is so important while you're working on yourself, while you're healing yourself, while you're finding the God in you is because number one, when you're not healed, you're kind of navigating life from an unstable place. You're still dealing with codependency issues. You know, you're lacking self-esteem, you're lacking self-love. So what's gonna happen is you're going to attract in partners that are the same. You're gonna be attracting partners that are slapping a band-aid on it, filling a void. And so when you add sex to the mix, you guys, I am telling you, it is inevitable. You form attachments. When you have sex with someone, you form attachments. Also, when you have sex with someone, you're giving your energy away. You don't have the energy to give away. You need to keep all your energy selfishly so you can work on yourself. Okay, you guys, and the main issue is, as long as you're continuing to date and you're calling in people that are highlighting different triggers, different deficiencies, showing you your attachment styles, this is good as long as you have a lot of awareness and you're able to go back home and evaluate the date, evaluate if they triggered anything. And when you're not having sex, you're not giving your power away and you're not attaching. I am telling you guys right now, sex changes everything. And what it has done for me this entire year by dating and not having sex with anyone is I'm really able to evaluate myself, okay? So I was noticing that like, you know, we would have a night together and it was beautiful and nice. And then the next day, the person wouldn't call. And it's like, we don't need to be talking to each other every single day. But the fact that he didn't call, it would trigger that 
yucky codependent attachment style inside me luckily i have awareness and i'm putting myself through like my own little school this whole year i was observing myself and i was like oh, i don't like that like why am i doing that i don't even know this person i don't even know if they're great so i noticed one i was attaching to someone that i don't even really know i mean mind you might know him for a few weeks but you don't know someone two I was immediately thinking, is this about me? Number three, you're writing that stupid story that starts rolling. So you're really able to like evaluate yourself and be like, shit, man, I still need to work on this. Like, what is this? And it's not about them. It is not about them. They are just highlighting this for you. And that's why it's imperative that you date. It's great because it shows you your attachment style. And then you really start digging in and be like, okay, why am I feeling this? And you really, really learn to build your self-esteem. You learn to build your self-worth because you're not giving your power away to this person. They're just highlighting your deficiencies. And so I've been navigating this whole year. And like now you guys, now dating is fun because now there's no triggers there's no codependency issues there's no attachment style it's just so much more powerful and peaceful when you can heal those little broken parts of yourself and you cannot do this if you are having sex you have to listen to me when i say this you cannot do this if you are having sex and a big reason why you feel like you have to have sex is because you're looking for that external validation i want them to like me i want them to want to take me out again so i better hook up with them no because that's also your lower self telling you that so you have got to stick to your guns and stay celibate use this continue dating do not be defeated by dating but use dating to show you your codependency issues, to show you your attachment styles, to deal with any intimacy blocks that you have, but you cannot deal with them if you are having sex. You have got to be celibate when you're on this journey because we're gonna have some fun moving into 2022, okay? You can download the link below to the worksheet that I have created for you as bullet points as well to help you identify your deficiencies. And I do one-on-one -on -one calls so that we can kind of work out the kinks because at some point, we all gotta put Humpty Dumpty back together again, okay? <laughs> Let's do it to be the more powerful you for 2022. I hope this video is helpful, you guys. See you in a few days.